we are the fans of the great Ray Kurzweil, who talks about the next order of evolution in intelligence being a combination of machine intelligence and human intelligence. Our purpose, our mission, is to lift the intelligence possibility frontier of enterprises. When we talk of digital, we define digital as anything that makes interaction between data, things, and people as meaningful. What we see now, however, is in terms of these interactions, you see a lot of variability, volume, um, but you don't see intelligence. There is a lot of unstructured data out there. There is a lot of structured data which is not being triangulated and used. And uh, when, when we heard about the challenges of large enterprises innovating, three challenges come to my mind which I believe could be addressed by lifting that intelligence frontier using artificial intelligence and machine learning in enterprises. The first being inattentional blindness. Chris Chavris and Dan Simon did this experiment with gorillas uh, moving when students were passing balls. It's the same with people working in enterprises. They are so much engrossed by the operational stuff they are doing, they do not have time to see at the big weight idea gorillas. Second is the incentive systems. You talk of, say, pharmaceutical companies. You have a huge pipeline. If you start working on a new approach, a new inhibitor, it would take you eight years to realize the success. And meanwhile, others who are working on things that are creating cash would be incentivized. So it skews the culture, and also uh, the incentives, incentive system has an effect on the competencies, the capabilities you can get in. And the third reason we believe, um, and you rightly uh, mentioned, ecosystem is key. Because of the digital technologies, because of digitalization, people are talking to each other. The cognitive distance is sinking. You need a brokerage position in an ecosystem. Being part of a large enterprise, it is very difficult to have that brokerage position. Unless we provide you the intelligence, in order to address the inattentional blindness, in order to address, make you capable to fight the new frontiers of technology, science, and also which enables you to play a brokerage role in a scientific or a technology ecosystem. So that's what we intend, and we are working on some really exciting platforms <coughs> wherein we are indexing, playing, creating intelligence out of unstructured data in healthcare and financial services. And it's truly exciting. Uh, I'll tell you a small story. Uh, during uh, the fourth semester in Bombay, when we wanted to be entrepreneurs, we eventually started a couple of companies therein. We went to an alumnus who was very successful and said, we want to start a company. And he said, wow, what would you like to do? It said we would build pneumatic walls for the reactors because we were in the material science and technology department. He said, wow, why do you want to do that? Because my dad was working in the Department of Atomic Energy. I said, I know a bit of the department and what they need, etc." He looked around. Uh, he found a couple of bean bags. He said, pneumatic walls are slightly more complex. Why don't you start with a bean bag? So he gave us uh, a pair of scissors, a measuring tape, and he said, go out and find out for how much are these bean bags produced? Or for how much can you produce such a bean bag? We came back, we said 400 rupees, which is like five euros. He said, now there is a mall outside, go there and find out for how much these bean bags are sold, 9,000 rupees. He said, do you still want to uh, produce pneumatic falls? We said, no, we'll, we'll produce bean bags. And that's where <laughs> we started our first business. And I, being a student at IIT Bombay, with my best friend on a bike was selling bean bags at Malabar Hill in Bombay. If you can't sell a bean bag being a smart guy, you can't sell a pneumatic valve in your life. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>